Good day! In this video, we are going to do the last question of the 2019 NCA 2019 Probability Methods Examination. This is question 3C of the exam paper. So without further ado, let's read the question. And this is an excellent question. There's only one part to it. So Xiu Tao finds a different game that involves more skill. She plays the games twice. If she wins the first game, the probability of winning the second game is twice the probability of winning the first game. So if, if she wins the first game, the chance of winning the second game is to be 2x. If x is the chance of winning, double the chance of is 2x. So to get, lose will be 1 minus 2x because these two numbers must add up to 1. Okay, so the second part, if she loses her first game, okay, so if this x, this must be 1 minus x, but these two numbers add up to 1. Her probability of winning her second game is half her probability of winning the first game. So the chances of winning is that half of this winning, so x over 2. So to get the lose, is going to be 1 minus x over 2 because these two numbers, when they add up, they equals to 1. So now we need to solve this problem. The probability that Suta win one game or fewer is 0 0.75. So win, lose, Lose win and lose lose, these are all win one game or fewer is 0 0.75. So the probability of winning both games is going to be 1 minus 0 0.75 is 0 0.25. So now we are going to solve this. So probability of winning both games is going to be 0 0.25. So probability of winning both games is going to be probability of win win is going to be 0 0.25 or in doing algebra x times 2x. So x times 2x equals to 0 0.25, 2x squared equals to 0 0.25, x squared equals to 0 0.125, x is the square root of 0 0.125, put in your calculator, and they should give us the answer of 0 0.3536. So the question asks you, what is the probability they lose both games? So probability of lose, lose, so it's going to be this number times that number. So it's going to be 1 minus 0 0.3635 bracket 1 minus, excuse me, uh, 0 0.3635 over 2. So put in your calculator, uh, we are going to get 0 0.6465 for the, this part. And then the second part is going to be 0 0.8232. And the last part, of course, you need to bring your calculator in, and you calculate it, it's going to be 0 0.5321, and you can get an answer that will give you an excellence in this paper. E7, so go through all the papers from question 1A to 3C, and see how you fare. If you still don't get it, do one more time until you get it, and you should be able to ace this exam. Cheers, everyone, and have a good day.